Autism affects 1 in 54 children. Autism affects every race and socioeconomic group, yet the disorder is not very, very widely known about. Autism is a neurogenetic disorder that affects the brain. Many people don't understand autism, and this is why people think it is a taboo subject. Autism, or Autism Spectrum Disorder, or a ASD for short, refers to a broad range of conditions characterized by challenges with social skills, repetitive behaviors, and nonverbal communication. There is not one type of autism, but many different subtypes there that are all affected by the genes of a particular individual. But boys are four times more as likely to be diagnosed with autism than girls are. Although autism is a neurogenetic disorder, the greatest deficit that is caused by autism is the cost on the family. Funding that is needed for ABA inter interventions for each child is a ridiculous amount. ABA is Applied Behavior Analysis, in which, which is a form of therapy used for children to help with autism in their learning def deficits. But that is just more than the learning deficits that are in school. Uh, ABA actually helps you learn daily tasks about taking care of themselves, speaking, we can motor movement, walking. ABA covers just about everything that a child will need to learn. Families affected by the cost of autism could spend upwards of thousands of dollars per year just for the necessary medical appointments for their child. Just ABA services alone could cost around $36,000 conservatively for just one child for one year. And many children will need ABA services for the rest of their lives. New studies have come out saying that the cost of ABA services has nearly tripled in the last couple of years as families are spending upwards of hundreds of thousands of dollars per year just for one child with autism spectrum debt disorder. The cost of caring for individuals with autism in 2015 was $268 billion and is projected to rise to $461 billion by the year 2025. On average, medical expenses are about 4.1 to 6.2 times greater for children with an ASD diagnosis than children without an ASD diagnosis. Most families that have children with an ASD diagnosis rely on Medicaid services to help offset the cost of services for all children with an ASD diagnosis. Although Medicaid can only cover so much and Medicaid is, needs an ASD diagnosis from a doctor to even start providing services for children with ASD and will not pay for the doctor's visits to get the ASD diagnosis. So families are spending upwards of $1,000 to $5,000 per appointment just to get an ASD diagnosis to start getting Medicaid for their children. And a lot of families cannot afford $1,000 to $5,000 per appointment for a child, as that is just a huge amount that many families have a very, very hard time parting with, as you could use that for many other things. Government programs like Medicaid are responsible, though, for 61 to $66 billion per year towards services for children with autism, while for adults with autism, the United States accounts for about $175 to $196 billion per year for services, which is a huge amount of money, but a lot of services are very expensive, and that could only cover a portion of services for many people, as some families are still spending thousands of dollars per year per child, and some ch and some families have multiple children that are have an a ASD diagnosis, and they are spending double the amount of money as some people are, and only getting half of what some people are in government spending. ATAP is also another service that families have used to help offset the cost of an ASD diagnosis. ATAP stands for All Things Are Possible, and their motto is to believe that when the world says no, they say all things are possible. ATAP is responsible for helping a lot of families with ASD diagnosis and providing, th and providing money for therapies and services for medical appointments that are needed, but ATAP is very hard to get approved for for some families. A majority of families that have a child with an ASD diagnosis are left paying out of pocket for services. A lot of them do have private insurance that help offset the cost of a lot of the services needed, but some families are living below the poverty level, especially since with an ASD diagnosis, a lot of parents are forced to either quit their job or start working very low hours because the child with ASD needs a lot of spe specific attention towards them. This causes a lot of families to 
have to start paying out of pocket or using private insurance and that alone is very very expensive for the family. A lot of families that do pay out of pocket have a really hard time trying to get approved for medical funding as well as um, trying to get approved through ATAP and this is very hard and causes a lot of strains on the family as a lot of families are living below the poverty line just because they are trying to get services for their child with an ASD diagnosis. And the U.S. needs to create more government funding or even just private insurance funding for families with an ASD diagnosis in a child or, in a, or another family member as it does cause a very large strain on the family and it causes a large strain with money. ASD is very, very expensive when you are trying to help the child or help whoever has the ASD diagnosis as 